Welcome to the live steam build of Charles, the Penryn quarry engine. This is being built to 1 12th scale, to run on 45mm gauge track. One of my requirements for this engine was that it should have drain cocks operated from the cab. I spent a lot of time thinking about these, then finally decided that they don't need to be absolutely steam tight. A little bit of weeping is fine, as on the quarry hunslet so tapered valve spindles and bores are not required. Let's get into the making of the drain cocks. A cylinder in the vise on the vertical slide for drilling the drain holes. It wasn't a very secure clamping, but the machining was very light. The first hole, 1mm diameter, with a centre 70 thou from the face. The cylinder end covers have a step of 50 thou. After the drilling, the bore needs enlarging for the drain cock to screw in. As it's so close to the edge, the centre has been moved 27 thou over, and then a 332nd slot drill used. The end has been counterboarded with a 1 8 inch slot drill for the body of the drain cock. That 332nd was a tapping size for the 1 8 inch BSW thread for the screw in drain cocks. The second hole has been drilled. These holes are about 3 eighths deep. With the lathe at top speed the drilling went well, with frequent withdrawals and clearing of the swarf by brush. Here I am trying in the body using the pin vise. Eventually I reduce the shank diameter a little to get better screw in depth. The first brazed assembly. The spherical portion is an attempt to simulate a cock body. It has been drilled for the valve spindle. As the first was successful, here's a blank for another cross piece. Turn to 3 16 diameter. After turning they were cross drilled in the vertical slide. 1 8 diameter for the body to pass through. A step turned. 1 8 diameter, leaving the centre piece 3 16 long, with a hole in the middle. The first half has been spherical turned, using the round nose tool, once again by step by step, manual CNCing. The first of the three is complete. All three complete and deburred, so that they fit on a 1 8 diameter. The second cock body has been turned. It's drilled through 1mm diameter and counterboard on the end for 1 16th tubing. The black dot marks the alignment for the cross piece for when it's screwed into the cylinder. In position, 140 thou is the dimension of the front end to the ball. Straight after brazing. I use very thin silver solder wire for this to minimise the amount, but apply directly and using the eBay butane torch. The finished drain cock body being tested on an embryo valve spindle in the Unimat 3. An almost parted off valve spindle with cross hole drilled. The spindle working surface is 2mm diameter and the thread is 10BA. The lever has just been filed to shape. One eighth filing buttons were made for it. The others are three sixteenth. The distance between centers is one quarter inch. One point two mil brass sheet has been used. The parts so far. Unfortunately, the spindle is ran the wrong way in this picture. The hole needed lining up with the lever before brazing together. The second spindle is slightly different from the first, being made from 3 seconds brass bar instead of 1 8 Again testing the second body on the new spindle. Drilling the second drain cock spindle through with a 1 mil drill. I took it very gently at max RPM. It came out well and the spindle was easily extracted. 
all ready to make the second lever. It's enjoyable to make, but very difficult to grip. The second valve spindle and lever assembly ready for silver brazing. I've just threaded the end of this embryo drain cock body for the second cylinder. The last machining operations on the body are to drill through 1.7mm clearance for 10BA threaded valve spindle and then open out to 2mm to a quarter inch depth. The ends are faced off to length in the correct order otherwise I wouldn't be able to grip it in the collet chuck. The last two drain cocks ready for the levers to be brazed on. This is how I drill through the spindles of the last two, much easier. The four drain cocks have been made and fitted. The last pieces made are the push-pull rods. These are 1 8 inch sawn and filed slices of my dwindling stock of 1.2mm brass sheet. Thanks for watching.